Alright, so I did say that I would make a new updated tutorial on how to add text using Shotcut with the new text feature. So let's get to it. So first off, you want to make sure that you have your desired video clip in your timeline. Then we're going to go to filters and then click on the plus button and just go to the video tab and we're going to type in text. And then you should see two text filters and today we're going to be using the new text rich filter. Once you open that, you can see all the menu settings and you can adjust your window to how you see fit. But this is the basic tool that you're going to be using to add text onto your video. From here, you can go to the preview window, click on it and just type whatever you want. And as you can see, it's going to be inside this big frame. Up here, we can see the toolbar that has all the settings and all the tools that we'll be using to edit our text throughout the video, such as the placement of the text, as well as the color options that you can use for your text and changing the font style as well. You can also change the size of the text, which in this case is pretty small, so we're just gonna bump it up. You have all these settings at your disposal in order to edit or change up your text in this window. But aside from that, you also have a lot of manual controls, such as stretching the actual frame of the text, as well as moving it around in different placements anywhere inside the frame of your video. If you go to the main settings, you can see all the presets, the position settings, which will again change the positioning of the text anywhere in the video. The background size, just in case if you do want to have a background behind your text, which you can come and click right here and choose whatever color you want and just click OK. But in this case, if you don't want any background with your text, all you have to do is come to the alpha channel and change it to zero. Hit OK and the background should disappear. And then we got all these other settings that you guys can mess around with and just change the default if you don't want to mess with any of that. But that is the basic rundown of how to use this text tool. Now there are other things that you can add to it such as pre-animations that you can go to the preset tab and once you open it you can see all the different types of presets that you can add to the text itself in order to animate. In this case, I've chosen the slide in from bottom, which basically slides the text in from the bottom frame. And you guys can actually adjust it to where you want it to start or stop just by dragging the text itself wherever you want to place it inside the frame. But you guys can choose whatever animations that Shotcut already has for you and basically reset it if you don't like something about it. Now, if you do want to animate your text, but want to have a little bit more creative control over it, you can press on the keyframes icon, which will take you to the keyframes timeline and you yourself can place specialized keyframes in certain parts of your video just by putting your playhead at a certain part of the clip and dragging the actual text out of frame wherever you want to start or stop, depending on what kind of animation you're looking for. Now this is just a quick demo, I'm not going to go into it, but these are the keyframes that you guys can play around with. Now I will be talking about keyframes later on in the video towards the end. That's pretty much all the things that you can play around with it. I'm just going to put everything to default. And as you can see, this new text filter has so many things that you can do with it, but it does take a little bit of time to learn and play around with it, of course. Now that we're done exploring the actual filter, I'm going to show you how you can use it in a real life setting. So let's just say you want to add text to your video where it starts at a certain point and then it just disappears later on in the video. So this is how you would do it. First, you would come down to the timeline and just select a certain part of where you want your text to appear first. Then we're just going to hit S on our keyboard or just split it entirely. From there, you're going to move the playhead forward and decide where you want the text to end and we're just going to split it again. So as you can see, this middle part is where our text will appear for the first time. So all I'm going to do is just go back and just remove the text filter from the first part of the clip and do the same thing to the last part of the clip. And all you have to do is just deselect it or just click on the minus button to get rid of that filter entirely. And the middle clip will be the only one that will have the text filter on. And like I showed you before, you can customize it however you want. But in this case, I'm just going to do a simple slide in. So as you can see, once we play through it, the text will slide in at the appropriate time, then it will just disappear by the time we get into the next clip. And it's as simple as that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is just play around with it and show you the final result. So I'm going to take the same premise, just change up the text a bit, 
and play around with the preset animations that Shotcut has, as well as adding keyframes to it so it slides out at the frame instead of just disappearing by the next clip. I'm just gonna add a simple slide in and slide out by using the keyframes and the preset that Shotcut has. So I'm just gonna play around with this even further until I get it where I like it, and I'm gonna show you guys the final result. Now a quick intermission by my thoughts. Using this new text filter, I did find it a little bit more easier than it used to be when adding text on Shotcut, but there's still that other option by using the text simple filter, which I have a separate video of how to use it, but I'll explain that later on. So that is it. All that's left is just exporting it and showing you the final result. As you can see, that's pretty much the process of adding text with this new filter. But like I mentioned before, there's still many things that you can do with your text, such as adding keyframes, making unique animations that you have more creative control on. I actually have a video that you can check out where I show you how to use keyframes in Shotcut. I also have an older video showing you another way to add text in Shotcut if you didn't like this method. You can find these videos on the Shotcut tutorial series playlist or at the end of this video. But that's it for today. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.